when it comes to tying, if I'm ever able to carry out a technique without a tool, I prefer to do that. It saves me the time of having to reach down, pick it up, use it, and put it back. So when it comes to whip finishing, I prefer to whip finish my flies by hand. Uh, if this is something you wanted to try, I at least wanted to give some instruction in this to show you how it went. So when I go to whip finish a fly, once again, I'm a right-handed tire. So I have my middle finger and my index finger. I've pulled out some extra thread. I'm going to drape my index finger and middle finger on the thread and bring the tip of that bobbin right back to where my tie-in point is. Now the only job my left hand has here is just to hold this in place. That's my pivot point and that's going to just hold that as an anchor. As I rise up, my index finger and middle finger are going to start to, by facing me and they're going to pivot on my index finger and turn away from me. At this point, I'll pull. I have the thread caught here underneath my middle finger. I'm going to catch that thread and you can see this vertical strand here. That's going to be our wrapping agent. That's going to come down and over the hook shank. And my fingers are back toward me facing me again. So we pivot, pivot on that pointer finger, facing away, catch that thread with my middle finger, vertical strand goes over the top, and my fingers are back toward me. So one more time here, pivot on the index finger, catch that thread, excuse me, catch that thread with the middle finger, vertical strand comes down, and they're back toward me. When I've taken my four wraps, on my four wrap whip finish, I'm going to very simply pinch it and pull it tight.